Paris on Fashionista.com and I am here today to talk to you about one of my favorite things in this world, nail polish. It's natural to start thinking about darker tones once we start getting into the colder months. This season we're looking at really dark, deep jewel tones. So think your burgundies, like a ruby, your emerald greens, very deep dark greens, and your deep midnight blues and navy. One of my favorite dark blue colors that I own is this one by OPI. It's called Roadhouse Blues. And it's a very, very deep, dark navy color. It can look almost black on the nail, but in the sunlight you can see that it has that really rich navy color tone to it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love this color by Avon. It's called Tweed. They still have it in their collection now, and it's a very deep, dark, burgundy color. It's just absolutely gorgeous on the nail. And it screams fall and is perfect for the fall trend this season. Another gorgeous color is by China Glaze. It's called Near Dark, and this is a very deep, dark forest green. Again, almost black on the nail, but it does pick up the green tones when you're in daylight, and it's just absolutely gorgeous and perfect for this fall. Another trend for this season is pale nudes. Now, nudes are here to stay. They've been kind of creeping up for a couple years now and have been all over the place, but this feels new to me. A lighter, more pale nude, classic chic nail for fall feels a little bit different than the dark colors that we usually see around this time. A couple examples that I have in my collection are by Essie. And Essie does nudes and pales like no other. They're amazing. One of my favorites is Topless and Barefoot. And this is exactly what I'm wearing on my nail now. So it's just a classic nude color. It's more of a pink beige nude. Another gorgeous color by Essie is Marshmallow. And this is a kind of exactly what it what it's described as, marshmallow. It's not a bright white that's gonna be very stark against your skin, but a very kind of like milky white that is absolutely beautiful on several different types of skin tones. So I think this is a really good option if you don't like that starkness of a bright white nail polish. Though nudes are nothing new, uh, they have been around for quite some time, it does feel different, it does feel fresh and new to have a chic nude nail in colder months. We're also seeing a lot of pale gold nails, which I absolutely love. And this one by Avon is actually called Pale Gold. It's perfect. And it does take a couple coats, but as you can see, it's just a beautiful gold color. It's very, very subtle and very pretty on the nail. It's absolutely beautiful and perfect for the pale gold trend. Metallics, metallics, metallics. We cannot get away from them. They've been kind of creeping up the last couple seasons, and now they are all over in all different types of nail collections. And there's two that I have here that are from two recent collections that I absolutely love. First one is by Essie, and it's called Penny Talk. And this is a gold copper metallic that is just unbelievable. I put some on this nail here so you can see what it looks like. It is just beautiful. It's so flattering on several different types of skin tones and the way that it pops on the nail. I highly, highly recommend picking this color up. It's absolutely beautiful, gorgeous on all different types of skin tones, and it's available right now in drugstores. So I would run to the nearest Target or run to the nearest Walgreens and see if you can get your hands on this because it's absolutely gorgeous. Another one of my favorites is from the Sally Hansen Insta-Dry Collection. You can find these at drugstores as well. And this is just a metallic silver that it looks like foil on your nails. It's absolutely beautiful. This is perfect for that metallic trend. It's called Silver Sweet. Very similar to the Half Moon manicures of the last couple seasons, we're seeing a lot of interesting twists on something classic like a French tip. A way to achieve this twist on a classic is to take a nude nail, something like what I have here now, and take a color that's unexpected, like a dark navy or the dark burgundy that I showed you earlier, and painting the tips with it. It's classic, yet it has a little bit of twist to it and it feels a little bit more fresh and new than your classic French manicure. Another very popular trend is nail art. You are seeing nail art everywhere. I think the trend for nail art moving forward is anything goes. It's not about clean lines and being perfect. It's about self-expression and being creative. I'm no artist and you don't have to be in order to do nail artwork. You can take something as simple as a bobby pin and use the edges of your bobby pin to create dots on your nails. It's really, really simple. Let me know what some of your favorite fall nail trends are down below. Also down below is a link to ChiTownFashionista.com. Make sure to check out the fall nail trends post for more details. Thanks for watching.